Hi, this is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and today is my day, June 2nd uh, on uh, the Creep on June 24 collaboration. Um, it is hosted by Tracy from Tracy Fox Creative and I was lucky enough to be invited to join in and today is my day. But before I start off with my project, I just want to say if you want to follow along with all the collaborators and um, see their videos there is a link to uh, this year's calendar and it has all the names and all the days on it so each day a new collaborator and if you click on that name it will take you straight to their channel um so if you today is the second uh, um the second day of june but if you go over all the names today it will of course not take you straight to the video because it's not uploaded yet but it will take you to the channel and each day when the new video is uploaded for that day uh, tracy is going to make sure if you click on the link it will take you straight to that video if it doesn't happen right away um, please do um, try and find a video on the channel yourself because there is some time difference one uh, person is in Australia, the other one is in the Netherlands, like I am, and another one is in America. And we have time difference between us. And um, so it takes some time to actually put the link in the calendar. Um, I also have the kits linked down below my video. So if you're interested in purchasing the kits, they are great to work with, by the way. Uh, you can find the links over there and there are also freebies and you can download the freebies if you become a member in the member area um, Yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, I'm going to show you my project before I'm going to show you my project. I need to do some um, Well explaining what I did um, Tracy have given us a sheet for each collaborator for each day and I'm on day two so I had a sheet with day two and there were a few elements on and if you follow the story if you wanted to follow the story because you didn't have to but you could follow the story there wasn't a certain element that I had to use and there's also a little child it's this one and that is illustrating the story I'm not sure if you saw the video of the story awesome to look at and it's so well done um, but if you watch that video uh, there are events happening and she made the pages according to those events well sort of um, and there are lots uh, of pages with ephemera we could use and also beautiful background papers uh, I have made the cover following the story the um, inside has two sections one section is about the investigation with all the um, um, inspectors and everything so mostly made from the freebies and then i also have something that is illustrating um, something about the author of the story i thought he should deserve a spot in this too <laughs> And um, I'm just going to open the journal. Well, it's not really a journal, but the book. Um, the front side, I have this little file folder, um, the tag, and this is the back side. It tucks in here, lace. I have a tuck spot over here too. And it has a journal card. And this slides in here like so and then you flip it over then you have the back side and it has a journal card in here too with some stamping um, I did add a lot of uh, ink this ink on a lot of the pages so if you're seeing the kits on screen in the Etsy store uh, some of them do not have the blue I added the blue but they are mostly neutral toned and you can add any color you want or leave it as they are because they are pretty and I also created a little yeah how do you call it dangle to put on the clip and it's like rusted with alcohol ink and when you open up oh it already 
clips open. Um, well, let me start on this side. Maybe that's better. This is a tunnel book and I do have to lift it up just a little because it's squeezed flat a little too much because of this piece. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a peek through behind the writer's desk um, to a bookcase and there are elements well floating in the air. <laughs> Basically, I have a pencil over here as decoration. I'm not sure if you can see, but there is script behind. And that is a piece of the story. I printed this on acetate. And if I take it out, I think you can see all the little bits and pieces much better. The desk is also moving a little, not too much. And I also created a little... <laughs> string to pull um, the light off and on a little paper clip over here and there are also not sure if you can see some eyelets in here i did stitching there are also eyelets in here i'm not sure if you can see um but yeah this is my 3d author writers corner that i created and over here, there is the um, little file of the investigation. Um, if you open it up, it flips open like so. You have all the investigators, the intendant, in, in, attending investigators. Sorry for my English. Uh, you have Ernest, Ernest, Ernest. I wanted to say it in Dutch. You have Ernest Bundle. You have Carl Edwards and Dorothy Blakely. And I created these little, uh, yeah, ID cards for them. So they are on the case. And these are printed two at one page. So that's why they are so small. I didn't resize or anything. I just choose a different um, printing size. I did, uh, I think I did also choose another size, like a photo size. So the page comes out like a photo. So that's why it's so small. I did some stamping over here. Inside there is a page of the story that I printed on. I'm not sure how to call it in English, but on an old matrix printer. We call that the one with the... You have the, the zigzag. It's double layered. And it has the... <laughs> how do you call them? The strips you have to rip off... Um, with all the holes in it. Gee, how is it called? Clips over like this. I have a little tuck spot in here. This is one of the devices Ernest Brundle uh, used to yeah, investigate the things that were going on around the house. This is a tag. I did some stamping, some stitching. Over here, another piece of the story. And this is actually the, the first page, the CPI case 374, Crossley Hall. And this is about what happened. And there's also a video on this. And you should really watch this if, if you haven't yet. Because it's um, so well put together. I really enjoyed watching it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It, it's so great. <laughs> uh, this is another piece of the... Um, yeah, story. This is a freebie, so you can download this uh, for free. Um, so this tucks in here. But this is also from the freebie set, and the images of the investigators is also a freebie set. And it goes over like here, and then you have a tuck spot here. I believe I also created a tuck spot here. I created the tuck spot in here too. I didn't put anything in yet. I, I totally forgot. Um, another tag that I created. Um, I think it's the... No, it's not the same piece as this. No, it's not another piece. But it's... There were a lot of... Um, like these. These. I absolutely love these. They are so great. 
um, background papers and like I said I used a lot of the moment memento uh, teal zeal ink to make it uh, cohesive with this because I really love this paper I have some jute and uh, the same as I have on the front side and yeah this is this is my project in case you are wondering how I made this I I wanted to create this as a test and then create a second one on camera um, but when I was finished with this one and this is a little tricky with this one I was um, well, it took me hours to make this I, I realized I couldn't make a second one and I realized I couldn't make the second one completely on camera because it well, it's going to be a video like three, four hours long. Who's going to watch that? So I thought, well, if you want to know how I created this, uh, tell me in the comments and maybe I can do a separate video constructing this piece. So I don't have to do the whole thing, but I can show you how I created this. Um, I have to say it looks more difficult than it actually is. But it's so much fun. <laughs> but yeah, it's also very tricky because you start off with something simple and then you think of a new thing and more things and then you keep adding stuff. And before you know it, you are crafting like four days in a row completing this. But I have to say, I really enjoyed working with the papers. So after seeing this and you're thinking, oh, I really want those papers check out the links to the Etsy store because yeah they are super to work with um yeah this is this is it this is my project um I hope you liked it and if you did maybe you want to leave me a comment leave a like and if you're not a subscriber maybe you want to be a subscriber um I usually uh, do well I do a lot of different things on my channel to be honest uh, different styles also from grungy to romantic to even with fairies um, but I have to say this style suits me the best <laughs> um, but I do different things and yeah you can check out my link tree link it's below the video you have um, access to my Etsy store Facebook group Facebook page Ko-Fi page YouTube channel well you already are on the YouTube channel of course and see who I am and what I do. But this was um, my project for uh, Creep on June 24. And I wanted to say um, thank you very much, Tracy, for inviting me. I had a lot of fun. And I hope I did a good job. Uh, because I have to say something. I didn't understand what, what I sh should do. I didn't. I, I read everything. And then I thought, I'm a Dutchie. What am I supposed to do now? I completely misunderstood because of I mixed up all the words but and Tracy was so sweet enough to uh, send me an email and explain it to me in visuals <laughs> which was so very helpful for me so thank you very much um yeah thank you for doing that uh, it really <laughs> it really helped me um but yeah this is this is it uh, this is it for today um like I said, I hope you liked the video. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. And thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you the next time. Stay safe, stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.